So we've gone over motion scroll effects, so now we're going to go over the opacity scroll effect in Adobe Muse. So an example of the opacity scroll effect, if I go to scrolleffects.com and I scroll down, this is a great website that showcases all of the different effects that you can do in Adobe Muse. Uh, I didn't personally design it, but I happened to come across this website. And if we scroll down here to where it says light, this is an animation that's using the opacity scroll effect. And if I scroll down, we can see that the website gets a bit brighter. It almost looks as if that light bulb is lighting up the website, which is very nice. And, and this is all done through the opacity scroll effect in Adobe Muse. All right, and the way this works, it has a nice example here. We have the first fade position. So we have fade position one right up here, and it's at 100%. And then the fade position, once it reaches the uh, key position here, uh, it goes to 50%. And then as we scroll, see it goes to 50. And it keeps as we keep scrolling, it goes to the second fade position and it goes to 0%. And that's how the opacity scroll effect works. All right, so there's a, there's a color overlay on this image. And then uh, we use the opacity scroll effect on it. Or on this website, they're using the opacity scroll effect. All right, and then there's another example of the opacity scroll effect. If I go here to where it says uh, make art, and I click on it there, and we scroll down, the words make art, paint, things be awesome, those fade in, and that's also using the opacity scroll effect on these different uh, texts in, in this website. Very good. So now I'll show you a quick example of how to use the opacity scroll effect. So I'll go to my Adobe Muse website here, and actually let me minimize this here. So here I am in my Adobe Muse website, so I'm going to go to my Finder here, or folder if you're on a Windows computer, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag this image of this lion here. So I'll click, hold, and drag onto my Adobe Muse website, and then I have it here on my cursor, and I'll click, and there we have the image of the lion, and I'll just center it right here in the middle of the website. That looks good. So now to add the opacity scroll effect, we simply click on the uh, image or, or element that you want to add the effect to, and we'll go to scroll effects. And here we have the motion scroll effect. We have uh, the op and we have the opacity scroll effect. Excuse me. On the second button, there's also the slideshow scroll effect and the edge animate scroll effect. For this, uh, for the opacity scroll effect, we want the second button here. If you don't see the scroll effects panel, simply go to window and then click on scroll effects to get that panel. Very good. So now to add the opacity scroll effect, I simply click on this button here that says opacity. And there we see we have the first fade position appear, we have the key position, and we have the second fade position appear. So here in the opacity, we have those three different uh, positions. And the first position starts at zero. And once it reaches the key position here, the square key position, it goes to 100. And then after that, it goes back to zero. And once it reaches the, uh, the last fade position here, it goes to zero. So the way this image is going to animate, or the way the effect is going to work, is that it's going to fade in quickly because we don't have a lot of space between the first fade position and this key position. And then it's, again, it's going to fade out quickly from this key position here to the second fade position here. So if I go to File, Preview Site, Preview Page in Browser, I'll click Allow. And then I scroll, we can see it quickly appears. And what we need to do is add a bit more scroll space to this website. So I'm going to click on this tab here and just bring it down so we have more scroll space to see that effect. And you can just drag now for one or two seconds to get more space on the website. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and I'll scroll. And we can see it fades in and fades out quickly. Now to change that, uh, to change that uh, the fade from you know fading in so quickly and fading out, we simply add more distance between the different key positions. So I'm going to drag down uh, this key position here, this middle one, and I'll drag it down to the top of the image, and I'll drag this first fade position up to the top. So now we have more distance between the fade position one here and the key position, so it's going to take a little bit more time for that image to fade in. And then this last key position, we can actually bring it down even below the image so that when the image is actually appearing off the website, it starts it's fading out, and we have you know, more, more time for that fade position. 
So now there's more distance between each of the fade positions and we're going to get a slower fade in and fade out. So I'll preview this in the browser. I'll go to file, preview site in browser. And let's just imagine that the key positions are here. So I, I start scrolling and the image immediately starts to appear because imagine that first fade position right at the top of the browser. And now it's fading to that first key position, which is right at the top of the image. So we can picture it like right here on top of the head of this lion here. And as we go, and once it reaches the top of the browser, picture that uh, second key position hitting the top of the browser. And now the image is at 100% visibility. And as we scroll past that, the image starts to disappear. Very good. And it starts to disappear. And once it, it reaches the, the last key position, it fades to zero. Very good. And it moves off the browser there. All right, so that's the opacity scroll effect, and you can do it in combination with the motion scroll effect. So if I go to the scroll effects and I click on the motion scroll effect, the first button here, and I click on motion, I can have the image go from left to right at a speed of one, and we don't want it to move up and down, and then the final motion be at one. And this, this motion is going to use this uh, key position here, the square key position, and that's the key position it's going to work with. Um, so it doesn't use the fade positions, but it uses that middle key position. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. So the image is going to move from the left to the right. And then once it gets to that final, to that key position, which is the top uh, of the browser there, it's going to scroll up with the browser. And we can make it so that it doesn't scroll. We can click on it and set the final motion to zero. And I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser and it's going to scroll and then it fades out. So it scrolls in from the left and then it fades out. As you can see, it's uh, pretty unlimited what you can do with the scroll effect and in combination with the motion effect, you can add a really interesting effect to your elements, uh, different yeah, opacity effects uh, and motion effects to your elements. Very good. So that's it for this video tutorial and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.